Recently widow Dr. Nate Samuels and his teenage daughters Meredith and Nora arrive at the Mopani Reserve in South Africa for a vacation. Nate reunites with his old friend Martin Battles, a biologist and Mopani manager who introduced Nate and his wife. Martin takes Nate and the girls to the village where Nate's wife grew up. Nate confides to Martin his guilt over being distant following his and his wife's separation, after which she developed terminal cancer. The trip is to reconnect with his daughters. The next day, Martin and the family tour the reserve's restricted areas. Martin shows them a local lane pride and notices that one is injured. At a nervous solo community, Martin discovers most of the population is dead. Suspecting a rogue line is responsible, Martin rushes back to report the finding. Nate encounters an injured solar man on the road, but is unable to save him. Martin is wounded as he tracks the lion. It then abuses Nate, who takes cover in the car. Meredith speeds away but crashes into a tree and stranding them. Martin radios Nate on a walkie-talkie warning him to stay away, saying the lion is using Martin as bait to lure the others out. As the radio is out of range to contact help, Nate assembles a tranquilizer rival. He confronts the lion, hoping to subdue it long enough to recover Martin and track back to civilization. The lion attacks and Meredith takes advantage of the distraction to save Martin. Nora then stabs the lion with a tranquilizer dog after it knocks the gun from Nate's hands, causing the lion to retreat. Meredith brings Martin back to the car and Nate treats his wound. As night falls, the now recovering Martin speculates the lion ran rogue after poachers killed its pride. Soon after, the poachers arrive, the same ones that killed the rogue's pride at the beginning, and initially agreed to transport the group to the village in exchange for payment. Tension rise after the poacher spot Martin, an afid anti-poacher, inside the car. The lion attacks and scatters the poachers, killing most of them. Nate maneuvers his way past back the lion and finds the poacher's truck keys. Back at the car, Martin holds the lion off long enough to allow the sisters to escape. So Meredith sustains a deep laceration to her side. The car falls into a ravine and Martin sacrifices himself by setting off an explosion from the leaking gasoline, severely burning the lion. Nate starts the truck and races away with Meredith and Nora. At an abandoned schoolhouse the poachers used as their base, Nate treats Meredith's wound, then forages for water. The lion appears and stalks the girl, but Nate returns and scares it off. Locking his daughters inside her room, Nate promises to return after subduing the lion. Luring it into an opening, Nate attracts the local lion pride which Martin helped raise. In the ensuing struggle, the lion mails Nate, nearly killing him until the pride patriarchs intervene and massively kill the miserable rogue lion. A Mopani worker arrives and saves Nate as he falls unconscious. Awakening in the hospital, a recovering Nate tells his daughters that he loves them. Sometimes later, the three return to the preserve, this time as a united family and recreate the photo Nate's late wife took of herself next to her favorite tree.